Hey guys, Dab Science here with a video on the digestive system. Let's say you have a delicious sandwich in your hand and then you take a huge bite out of it. First, our 32 teeth immediately begin to break down the food. The different kinds of teeth are molars, premolars, which grind and mash the food, canines, which cut and slice through the food, and incisors, which help in biting. Your tongue pushes the food around your mouth, coating it with saliva. Saliva is produced in three glands, the submaxillary, partoid, and sublingual glands. So saliva contains 99% water, but it also contains mucus and salivary and amylase, which is an enzyme. Salivary amylase breaks down starch into mantles. This is why bread tastes sweet after chewing it for a while. Then your tongue pushes the food around your throat. And because of chewing and the tongue pushing it around, it forms a soft, chewed ball of food called the bolus. And now this food is ready for digestion. The epiglottis is a flap which separates your windpipe from your esophagus so you don't choke. The esophagus has two main muscles, the circular and longitudinal muscle which push down the food to the stomach. This, this iconic wave-like motion from the esophagus is known as peristalsis. When the bolus enters your stomach, HCL is secreted. HCL kills bacteria and creates an, an acidic environment for pepsin to act on proteins to make them polypeptides. The stomach also churns your food and makes it into an acidic liquid called chyme. Now the chyme moves down into the duodenum which contains three organs, the pancreas, the liver and the gallbladder. The pancreas secretes protease, lipase and amylase which breaks down proteins, fats and carbohydrates respectively. It also secretes sodium hydrogen carbonate which reduces the acidity of the chyme. The gallbladder secretes bile juice which is stored in the liver. The bile juice contains bile salts and bile pigments which both emulsify fats. The food is then taken into the small intestine which contains microscopic finger-like projections called villi. The villi create a large surface area for enzymes to act on the food so that it can be absorbed into the lymphatic and circulatory system. The enzymes are protease which breaks on polypeptides into amino acids, maltase which breaks on maltose into glucose, lipase which breaks on fats into fatty acids and glycerol, and sucrose breaks on sucrose into glucose and fructose. Then the food is taken to the large intestine. Here's a fun fact for you. The small intestine is actually longer than the large intestine, but the large intestine is thicker. Hence its name. The large intestine absorbs the remnants of the food and absorbs water before excretion. The undigested food is stored in the rectum and then it goes to the anus where it is excreted. So the whole digestive system from the mouth all the way down to the anus is known as the alimentary canal. And that's the end of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it because it really took a lot of work from me and I promise to upload more in the future. Thanks, bye, enjoy your day. Yeah, can I get that chip before I go?